Oh, just come and check it out, man. Like, I'm. Uh, it's a long story, but I'm thinking about maybe uh, dipping my toe in it again. Like, okay. Yeah, yeah. So check it out. So you've like, been missing I, it. I keep up with it a lot. Like, Bruno came to see my show when it was touring recently. Uh, Rowan came down when I was performing in Leeds. And uh, yeah, I see Bagnall a lot. So it's always good to keep up what's going on, man. And, it's like, funny that you said that. I've seen a lot of your tweets going out. And obviously, uh, give a little breakdown to your show. What is it? Oh, well, we've been touring a, a show called Dead Poets Death Match. It's all about uh, famous dead poets. Uh, like reading poems about them and then like dressing up as them and having rap battles in character. Like, it was kind of a good laugh. Sounds but, fun. Um, the new stuff is all about, uh, to be fair, it's, it's a long story, but yeah, hopefully it's like a TV project. I'd love to see what happens. Like, okay. It's cool. so yeah, it's good stuff. Who are you interested in battling? Uh, geez, I've got no idea. I'd like to go with someone like quite. Someone that I have no Who stood out for you then since you've since you've been not here? Of, of, of late? Like yeah. I mean well without a doubt, like, rap was on like a meteoric surge, right? I mean uh, I mean he wasn't like he was good yesterday, but like um George Gemini's really interesting at the moment. I think he's doing really well. I think like I really like Crafty as well, like I like what he's doing, like everything really good. I think at the moment it felt like when I was like starting to get involved, it felt like there were a lot of really strong characters on the card. Uh, you could really see the distinction between different battles and I feel like we had like a period of time about two or three years where that kind of died down a bit and it was quite a lot of the same kind of stuff but I feel like we're getting really strong characters. Yeah, definitely. Um, and I think having people like like Soul still on the card, like obviously something still Tony about O'Shea, it gives you that kind of like that veteran kind of stuff and the new voices coming through I think are quite distinctive. Um, so yeah, it's exciting. Man. It's exciting to see what happens. I have to say this, my, my, my missus is not into battle rap. The only, one, okay. the only one time she spoke to me about battle rap, she goes, oh, have you seen that battle rap with the teacher versus yeah, the student? Yeah, like, I don't know. I, I felt with that battle, you broke kind of doors. You opened up sort of, door, sort of doors to people that wouldn't really yeah, be... I guess so. I guess so. Look, I think was, that, was that, did you and Blizzard work that theme out before? Was that... No, but we knew, we knew it was like uh, everything was an international battle, so we knew that ours wasn't. And uh, Rowan had said beforehand, he was like, look, really lean on the teacher-student angle on it so that we have like a reason to justify being on the card. Because back then it was like, to be honest, like, who was I doing to go get Blizzard back then? Because he was like, he's getting quite a big draw, right? Um, it was so believable though, I actually thought you were his teacher. Yeah, well, <laughs> I, do, I did, did teach and I still do teach him all at his age. So, yeah, no, it's cool. Like, um, I think uh, it definitely changed my life, like in many little ways. Um, and it, I, I've always uh, got a, like, a huge amount of love in time for Don't like, I've always said, if I'm ever like, at a festival or something, I've got a gig, I'll always smuggle anyone in. It's a battle. Like, so, like, I owe people, man. Like, it's, it's, of course. So what do you think of, since, obviously, your times when you were in the uh, battle rap and where it's come to now and how fast it's grown? The culture? Um, if I was to get back involved now, like, I'd need to up my game massively. The, the, the quality is so much higher. Uh, use of monosyllabic schemes like asking and rhyming is like way stronger than it ever was before um, and I can do all that stuff in paper but uh, at the moment people are like a living and breathing those people who can kind of like deviate from it I think still have a strength because I think they can uh, find their own voice and not be essentially just like multisyllabic rhymers but actually kind of like have their own flow their own kind of style but I think anyone who's been following it for the last five years will agree that the quality of writing is improved. Definitely. Like you, you know, definitely, you need to bring more to it now, uh, and you've got to try and like have uh, you, the level of work is huge. Yeah. That was the problem I found. To be totally honest, is like you would spend a month, two months of creative time really focus on that, and uh, and that would kind of prevent you from working on other projects. So it did with me. Uh, so you know, but yeah, I think it's amazing. Like, I'm always following it closely, and I think I feel like we're set for a really. Like a really strong surge at the moment. Yeah. Like I got that feeling. Um, I felt it. I think it was the moment, like Raptor v Tony, that really felt like we were kind of bringing in like a new, a new, a new movement, a new era. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's cool, man. Okay. Uh, shout out to Macro TV, man. Uh, nice to chat. Thank you very much.